Hi guys, this is Action DJ from Action Studio, and welcome to the fourth episode of Learning Projection Mapping with me. This probably is the last numbered episode because I'm not going to be doing any more videos in continuity. Uh, which uh, what that means is that I will be choosing isolated topics and then talking about that. Uh, this one would probably cover getting started, which I've been doing since episode one. Episode two was about uh, learning uh, more about the advanced screen setup. Third was about cropping, masking, and options like that. And now this is the fourth one where we are going to be talking about using multiple videos for different surfaces. Uh, so uh, and and after this we're going to be doing mostly uh, isolated uh, tips and tricks in how to do certain things uh, trade craft uh, hope you've been enjoying the series so far uh, and in this we're going to go uh, where we left it last time uh, so we're going to go to our output option advanced uh, our advanced screen setup uh, ASS as <laughs> if you may uh, so uh, we have this thing that we sort of mapped if we don't need that we're gonna um, just hide it or um, what we're trying to achieve in this process is this uh, the cube that you see in front what if you wanted uh, a video on the left to be different than the video on the right surface uh, you could have a face mask something like anything different uh, let me see if I can find something very different I think they're all neons so I doubt I'm going to find something very different. I guess we'll have to make two with these. So let's use this video right here and this video here. Uh, for now I'm going to uh, stop both of them and just start uh, the one on this one on layer 3. Okay, so for uh, something uh, like this what we do is the process is again simple as once you, you understand the process. Um, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on slice, uh, new slice, and now in this slice we have this uh, neon 15, this clip running right now. I'm going to delete slice too, just for the ease um, of understanding. And in slice three, um, I'm going to go to map it to my screen. And Actually, um, I have an easier way to do this. Advance, um, slice, and since the bottom one is already somewhat mapped, I'm just gonna. So you see how your process will evolve. Like this is a part of my process that I didn't map the whole thing. Uh, I mean, not that it was too much of a trouble or too complicated, but it's just that it just made it easier for me because, you know, now I understand my software and the process better. And I can now do this much more faster. So, I'm now going to disable slice 2. And I just have one slice on the left hand side. Uh, it's somewhat mapped correctly. Um, let's duplicate this guy uh, by simply right clicking and duplicate. I'm going to click and I'm going to grab this point I'm going to bring it like this now what I've done is let me just um, click on this guy so you will notice I've actually mirrored the image because I grabbed the slice which was here and I brought it here so now it's just mirrored the whole thing which is pretty cool at times you can use this process uh, and you don't want to like it's like flipping uh, the process uh, so I'm just gonna again show slice 2 so that I can easily just go to the points and I think I'm somewhat okay although I can't see okay yeah I'm somewhat okay again I'm gonna hide slice 2 so now I have two slices with me one and two right here um, how do I put two videos in it? Remember guys, we spoke about uh, in episode one, the layer names. Uh, they're very crucial uh, because it allows you to do what we are about to do now. I'm gonna select and start these two videos. Um, right now, something to remember is that the opacity of both videos is at 100%. So you're only seeing the one on top because everything has a layer in order. So if this was at 50%, you would see something like this in the main composition. 
which would create a, a cool effect within itself but we will let it be at 100 percent what we're going to do is we're going to click on uh, the left uh, side slice 3 uh, and this is where it helps if you name it so if I would have named it I would know that this is the left one and I could see it here I can click here and I can just go forward instead of remembering what is slice 3 slice 2 and so on and so on so slice uh, left slice and input selection and now if you see over here it says input source and this is the key we're gonna click on composition I mean we're gonna click on the drop down and instead of composition we're gonna select layer 3 or whichever layer you want by selecting layer 3 I have now made sure that it picks up video from nowhere else so this screen right here is your main composition layer if I decrease the opacity the kind of video you see here you're not gonna see here because it's only picking up layer 3 so we're gonna go to slice 3 which is actually our right slice right surface and within the input selection we are going to go again to the same tab and I'm gonna say well layer 2 so now left if you see is layer from it's picking up from layer 3 and the right is picking up from layer 2 and this is it that's so simple and that's great that again the whole process is so easy but if I go now to my output information you can already see on the screen on the webcam uh, on the cam that it's already in effect it's already picking two different videos and it's putting them where I want them to be this sort of a control allows you to achieve a lot of different pro uh, things when you're doing this in a real world environment when you want uh, a certain strip to always have a certain kind of uh, graphics running and if you want certain areas to have some shuffling graphics and you know so now you can have layer one in a certain way layer two in a certain way um, you know you guys uh, can decide how you want to play with it but this is the process and it's simple it's straightforward all you have to do is just come to your input selection click on the right slice and say where you wanted to pick the video from you can again click on composition if you want you can choose a specific layer but that's about it that's uh, all there is to it we're going to be talking about uh, how to send multiple uh, videos to a siphon source um, which is also very similar to what we did uh, right now with one major difference uh, which is going to be in the next episode uh, I'm going to talk about that uh, because it's not related to I mean it is related to but it's a it's a separate thing so we're going to do this in the next video it's decided now uh, thank you so much for watching I uh, hope this helped uh, if you have any questions uh, anytime regarding anything that I do explain and uh, teach or anything that you are encountering and you're not able to figure out uh, feel free to ask I might not be able to answer everything because uh, even I'm also in the process of uh, you know sort of learning this as it go uh, I have work I have been working with this for about two years now so I do understand a lot um, common questions that are asked uh, are things like uh, output not working the right way and uh, I see uh, extra light well those things could be very specific to you so uh, I might reply back in a more personal message instead of just posting a comment back uh, if you do uh, but feel free to you know sort of give me a shout and uh, hope this helps alright guys uh, next time then thank you